What up, what up, what up, good people? It's your boy BTG, aka Bust Them Guns. Back at you with another tabletop review. Uh, on deck tonight, we got a little PSA action times two, that Rock 5 7. So uh, I guess the immediate question is why two? So I'll go ahead and get that out of the way. Uh, I originally went with this uh, as a bill. So I wanted the black frame, I'm sorry, the black slide with the gray frame. So I bought the slide like a long time ago. And I was sitting on it, waiting on the frame to come in stock. So the gray frame was out of stock for like a long time. So when I would catch it in stock, I'd jump on it, put it in the cart. By the time I'm checking out, they're already gone. So I was not able to check out. So time went on. It was out of stock again for a long period of time. Repeat that situation, put it in there, it's gone. So I guess it's a pretty popular color. So I just got tired of messing around, so I went ahead and bought the black frame. So they were always a stock, but I wanted the gray one. So I did that, once I went ahead and pulled the trigger on that, now I gotta order magazines. So I went to order the magazines, and it wouldn't let me check out. So I reached out, they said, well, it's a state cap, because our law is a 17 round magazine capacity cap. But there's an exception if you have a concealed carry permit. So the, accept, uh, the capacity doesn't apply. So I explained that, they said we don't get into the nuance, so they wouldn't send me a magazine. So I'm like, fine. So I want the gray frame. They had the gray one on sale. So I said, all right, I'll just buy another one. So I bought it, it comes with two magazines. I'm like, cool, I'll at least have a magazine for each. So come to the FFL, go pick it up. He confirms the concealed carry permit, good to go. I didn't open it there, got home, opened it up, no magazines. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. So I reached out to him and same spill. You know, your magazine cap, you know, we can't send it to you. So I didn't even bother going to it. I was like, fine. So that's how we ended up with two. So we ended up working that out. We've got two. Uh, this was the one I wanted. But once I got the gray, I liked it. So I ended up not sw swapping the frames around. So I left them as they are. But, well, let me go ahead and clear the weapon first before we start jumping around. Nothing in the magazine. Nothing in the weapon. Same for this one. Nothing in the magazine. Nothing in the weapon. So that's what we got. And just to give you an idea of the setup, this is how I set it up. So weapon sits in there like that, inside of the pocket. We got magazine here, here, one here. And we got one slit in there and then one in the magazine. So it's a nice setup, decent little case. So what we got here, Rock 5 7, they've got three different models. They've got the standard model, which is no frills, no cuts, no optic cut just a pistol, uh, and that's where it starts. I'm not sure they were making them no more because there's absolutely none in stock, so they might have discontinued that because everybody pretty much wants optic ready now. So the second model is the optic ready. Uh, no cuts, but it is optic ready, so you get that. And then the final model, this is called the RK1, and with that, you're getting the lightning cuts in the slide, you're getting the threaded barrel, and you're getting uh, the barrel color of your choice. They've got stainless they've got gold they've got copper color they got black so whatever you want you can pick and choose uh, all of the models are using the same frame so no matter which one you go with you're getting the same frame same trigger setup and the frames are sold complete so you're really just selecting your slide setup uh, this rk model rk1 does come with compressor height sights so you got the taller sights on there blacked out in the rear blacked out in the front so that's what you're working with uh, I don't mind that because I like to co-witness, so that's a good thing. Uh, this barrel comes just a flat stainless, uh, but I did take that out and polish it. So this one is polished, and we've got a different tip on there. So that's what we're working with. These bad boys, the barrel is about 5.2 inches long, uh, about 26 inches is the weight, so they're not heavy. Uh, the grip feels nice, so it feels good in your hand. This is the least expensive of the 5.7s, the Ruger, the Smith, the FN, but it's decent quality for what you get for that round. So, and it's reliable. I haven't had any issue, it runs fine, so it works. Trigger, nothing to jump and shout about, but it's a decent trigger for what you got. So, got a little take up there, you're on the wall, pull it through, nice crisp break. Reset is decent. Bam, and you're right on the wall again. So decent trigger. Uh, capacity, this one actually has the most capacity. So this is 23 rounds. Uh, the Ruger is 20. 
The Smith & Wesson is 22, and the new FN version, the MRD, might just be 20 or it could be 21. So either way. I wasn't going to do a review on this. I was waiting until I got the FN because I wanted to be able to review all of them but uh, or compare all of them. But the way my priorities are now, I'm probably not going to get the FN until later in the year. And uh, one of the subscribers requested a review on the Rock 57, so I said I'll go ahead and do it now. But uh, you're getting a bang for your buck. Texture is okay. It's not really grippy. So you might want to put some handling grips or some toweling grips on there to give you a little more texture. You do have a little grip up here, but same thing. You know the grip kit will come with pads for that. Uh, you've got Picatinny rails so you can put your light on there. But this is a nice setup. I think it's uh, I think it's RMSC cut as far as the footprint. I think it is, but don't hold me to that. But this is a decent setup. Size-wise with the other ones, uh, I've got, well, let me just give you a closer look at this one. This here, what I call the Sniper Gray. Got the black accents, black hardware, so trigger, barrel, optic plate. This has the regular sights, height-wise. Uh, this is the white dot, so three in the back, one in the rear, but just regular white. They're not night sights. Controls on here, just black. But it looks nice. It accents nice, so I'm going to leave it like it is. I actually kind of like this. But if you compare it, I've got the Smith and I've got the Ruger. And if you compare the three, just kind of lining them up, very similar in size. Look at the bottom. Capacity slightly different, but very similar. So very similar weapons, uh, different characteristics. Uh, weight is about the same on all of them. I think the Smith is a 4.9 inch barrel, and I think the Ruger is a uh, five inch barrel. So that's your difference there. But if you're gonna compare them, this rock actually has the best grip of the three. So it's got the best grip. The Ruger by far has the best trigger, but the Smith & Wesson shoots the best. Trigger is decent in the Smith & Wesson, but it definitely shoots the best. It's got that delayed system. They actually say this is a delayed blowback system. That's what they're classifying it as. But the Ruger's got its own system in there where the barrel twists, so it's a delayed uh, system in there, and it makes a difference in the recall. So the, uh, I mean, the Smith & Wesson. So the Smith & Wesson does shoot the best. But bang for your buck, uh, you can't beat this. The price range, it could be anywhere from, say, 400 to 600 because some of the models they're selling with the optic, you can with the Hollisons. But get on their mailing list if this is what you're interested in. Those daily specials, you can end up getting one. 450 I mean, you, you just can't beat the price. There are specials all over the place. But uh, if you had to build one, out of these three, you could come up with the perfect 5.7. I think Yoki did a video on them, and she kind of pointed out if you could mix and match certain characteristics from each one, you would have the ideal pistol. Uh, but like I say, the 5.7, the Rock, has the best grip. Ruger best trigger, but Smith & Wesson shoots the best. But uh, nice setup. You're getting a good bang for your buck. This is the PSA Rock 5.7. This particular model is the RK1, and I like it. I'm happy with it. So... Just a quick review. It's your boy BTG, aka Bust Them Guns. Holla.